I haven't seen or heard your voice since 2011. Yeah, I think so. That was the... 2011 or 2010 yeah. or something. I know it was like early 2000s and it was first and probably the last time. I saw you at my first... Yeah, that was my first Colossal Con. It's 2011. That was my first and... Well, no, my last was 2012, but my first was 2011. That's when I met you. Right. I think... I think that was either my second or... No, 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 no. That was... Yeah, no, that was my second one, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Do you still go? Not as I used to. I think, like, after that year, that was the last time that I went. Mm -hmm. Because I was dating this one guy for several years. Uh-oh. And then that ended up working out. Mm-hmm. And then... What was it? Last year, I went... And this year I went, and now they're doing this stupid shit for, oh, to get, like, a hotel room for the uh, Colossal Con. Let's do a raffle ticket bullshit. And I'm just, like, thinking, seriously? Since when they start doing a raffling? Yeah, like, that's what they did for this year for next year, to get a room for next year for Colossal Con. They literally said, put in your email address to this website, and then it's just like a raffle. They draw up a random name. And then if you come up, then you got a room, and then you have to pay it on that day that they call your name for. You have to have the money right then there. And if you don't, then you can auction it off to somebody else, and then whatever. And I'm just, like, thinking... That shit talking? sounds really convoluted and some shit bound to happen. Like, <laughs> going really, really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, what I... I was happy about it. Like... I signed up for it, didn't lose, and then when I posted, I'm like, hey, can I stay in somebody's room? All I got was, oh, well, you have to go to the website and do this because we're raffling it. Like, bitch, I know. I tried. I'm like, what you think I'm asking you? <laughs> like, what you think I'm asking yeah. you for? <laughs> exactly. Like, could you be any more, like, incompetent? Please don't respond. <laughs> right. Like, what do you think I'm asking you for? I'm trying to get in. It took us, see, back in, it took us a long time to save up for those fucking rooms because it was like, what, for a village hut? Village Hut was like three hundred dollars, and the lower ones were like, uh, I don't know what was the, what was the most, what was the most expensive one? Was it the one near the the water park? I think it was. No, it was the the most expensive one was at the actual convention center, and if you had the suite, because that one came with its own private bedroom and a fireplace and a kitchen. No shit. Yeah, I found that out. Uh, I believe it was my first year it was either my first or second year that i found that out because i went with a bunch of friends and we stayed with them and they got the suite and it it came with like a private bedroom with a king or yeah king size bed and then on the outside it had another bed and also the pull-out couch bed and then there was like a kitchen and a fireplace and the big ass tv we also had a balcony oh no so yeah I, I remember the balconies i remember seeing those Back when I was yeah, looking at rooms and stuff. Really nice ones. I've never been able to yeah. stay at the Kalahari. We always ended up staying way down the fucking street from the place because it's always booked up by the time we, we used to get in there. Right. Right. Like fucking, what was it? Last year when I went, I ended up staying at the Wolfen Lodge, which was a fucking... <laughs> it sounds lodge. like a fucking name, Wolfen Lodge. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's like the Kalahari wannabe, basically, but for kids. No oh, shit. Kalahari, yeah, Kalahari is like for the adults water park, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh-huh. Versus the Wolf in the Lodge is for, oh, uh, you're two years old? Yeah, come on in. Here you go. Have some fun. Oh, and we also, and fucking in the morning, I just want peace and quiet and get my coffee and then be on with my day, right? Yeah. So, instead, we have freaking people who are like, all right, does everybody have their wolf ears on? Oh, shit. <laughs> Finding scavenger hunt. And we're going to go door to door, bang, banging on people's fucking yeah. doors and shit. <laughs> okay, so they're just like in the like they're in the lobby by this like huge ass like elevator shoot thing because like when you first enter the Wolfen Lodge you see like this big ass tree that's fake obviously right but, like Muppets or whatever boo 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 music shit and people are like around it like here we have our fun activity center but like behind that fake facade is where you get off on the elevator or you have the option to take the stairs on both like on the side right yeah and I'm like. What the shit? So when I get off the elevator, I just hear, 
do we have our cub cadets out today? And all the kids are like, yay! And I'm like, I have the biggest migraine right now. Could you not? <laughs> Could you all shut the fuck up? I gotta get down the street. I know you're just like, look, if I don't go to sleep here, I'm not gonna get any sleep when I get down to the damn Kalahari. You all drive me fucking insane. Like, you really are. The, thing is, the one thing that I do enjoy about the uh, Wolf and Lodge is, like, when you purchase a room, the uh, the wristbands to go to their water park is included. Oh, uh -huh. Cool. I don't, like, do a stupid separate purchase like the fucking con does. You wait a minute, you had to buy two different, you had to buy two different passes? Yes, yeah, so like over at the Kalahari, so like you get your hotel room and depending on the, like the bundle or whatever that you get, it comes to up to like, I think six passes, right? Yeah. And um, at the convention center, if you didn't get a water pass, you can buy an additional water pass as well as an additional like night pass for like the... You know, a, you know, 18 and plus activities. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Here's what pissed me off the most, right? So, like, last year when I went, or no, it was, no, it was last year because this year I was at the Kalahari. So, last year, what really pissed, what grinded my gears, <laughs> that, um, or no, 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 no. No, it was this year. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was this year. What grinded my gears this year was I stayed at the Kalahari, and I was staying with my buddy Atriu and a few other people that I have no clue with. So I'm just like, okay, this this will be fun. This or no, 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 no. I'm getting it mixed up. You fucking it all up today. <laughs> you getting all clusterfuck. No, it's, okay. You're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, no. When I was with Atriu, with him. It was with him, another guy, and the rest were girls. One girl, I think she had some mental, she was mentally disturbed or some shit because she was fucked in the head. The other girl, she was pretty cool. We hung out for the most part. And then the other girl, she just kind of like did her own thing. She was like, eh, whatever. I don't even care. And I'm like, all right, cool, sweet. Eh. And um, so what happened was when we were all in the room, they're saying, all right, who wants a water pass? And I'm like, Put me down for a water pass because I, I'll be able to get the money to you, whatever, you know, at probably at con. I can't do anything prior to and he's like, that's fine. Right. And at first, and then, like, as it got closer, I'm like, I don't know about the, like, all right. It's just like, well, as it stands, like, right now, when it, like, I have the money for you. I just don't know if I have the ride. So just hold on for a minute and I'll let you know. And then as soon as I sent that message, I let him know and I told him, like, like I already got it figured out. So we're all good. I, I'll be there. Right. So I get there. And he had already passed out all the water passes to everybody else but me. And everybody else could have afforded to purchase their own water passes for the entire weekend. But I couldn't because my money literally went to the room. And yeah, I usually that's what happens. All that shit goes right to the room. You think you have so much money for spending for, like, the, 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 right. the freaking, yeah. Right, but the thing is, just, like, I only saved up enough for the room, right? And I had enough money to be able to get me home. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Naturally, when you when you fucking broke as hell, yeah, that's what you can afford to get there and leave. Right. Yeah. Right, right. right. So I was kind of pissed off that I paid like the majority half of the room to not get a pass. So I was like legit pissed. Of course. Like, that is not okay for me. And then like I waited for most of the you know con to go to the date. Uh, and then I'm like, fuck it. I'll just like, I, I have this much left. I'll just get myself a day pass. And then when I first went down there, they told me that I need to have a fucking con badge in order to purchase a water pass, which is fucking bullshit. I didn't have money for a fucking pass. Like, so they wanted you to buy. So you had to buy a water pass on top of the one you already bought on top of you already paying all your money for the fucking room. Right. And <laughs> I was like, no, I, I like, no. And so then I run. Did you starve? Did you did you starve this weekend? <laughs> like. No, no, that's the thing. I didn't. I didn't starve. Instead, I just I spent the money that I would have used for gas to get you know to hitch a ride home. I just used on me. I'm like fuck it. Oh, I'm shit. too pissed off to care right now. I'll figure something out. Right. And so fucking um, I run to my buddy Anthony who gave me um, a con pass. So I used that. Bought myself a day pass, and I barely was able to spend outside because, you know me, with anxiety. I'm like, I don't like being alone in a big, hot, crowded area. Mm -hmm. But I was able to run into a few of my old friends from the Renaissance Festival, so I hung out with them the majority of the time, and it was pretty fun. I did a uh, Naraku 
uh, female Naraku swimsuit, the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's like all on my Instagram. It's fucking hilarious. I no shit. Shomaru and they busted out laughing, and I'm just like, <laughs> yes, paint me one of your French girls and all that jazz. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they wanted you to, to infect them in some way, I'm sure. <laughs> right. And so, like, freaking, and then, like, the, and I bought both nighttime passes because they were a lot cheaper than the day passes, which was ridiculous. Wasn't it like, I remember when we went that year, we went for 2011 in 2012 it was like 45 dollars for what the whole weekend or was it more than yeah, that so, all right no so years ago when i first met you the what they had for the entire weekend was 50 bucks and i'm like okay, right that's pretty that's decent 50 mm. bucks you know mm -hmm. no this year it bumped up to nearly like 70 bucks wait 70 for the whole fucking weekend all four days for the whole fucking weekend. Yeah. Jeez. Like, oh, the fucking weekend. <laughs> oh, God yeah. damn. Same thing. <laughs> the additional water passes for both daytime and nighttime. Like, the daytime was, like, 50 bucks, but the nighttime was, like, 30 bucks. And I'm like, what the shit? Like, Let me guess. Do they make you pay? Do they make you pay to get into the rave also? Because I know they used to make you... The passes used to get you in the rave Saturday night, too. Yeah, no, the passes still get you in the rave. Okay. Yeah, the passes get you in the rave as well as the masquerade ball, which I attended, and it was actually really nice. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was pretty nice. I, I liked it. And um, then, uh, what was it? Um, I'm trying to remember. But yeah, like it was just like the whole the whole point that kind of ruined Con for me was the fact that I had to pay majority of the room only to get fucked over a water pass. So I had to buy. I only I was able to buy the one day pass and then both night passes. I was able to get and I was able to buy food, which left me like minimum of like ten dollars. I started to say I was just thinking what you have like fifteen twelve dollars left in your wallet after that. Right, right. So I had ten dollars left to uh, like offer as gas money. And it was just, like, ridiculous because, yeah, reasons. And fucking, like, oh, my God. Like, but the entire time I was at con, I had, a, like, a general nice time. Of course. Like, what was it? It was the, all right, so the first midnight uh, hot tub thing that we did, the midnight swim. Um, it was funny because I, I met, like, a few people there, made some friends, and we had a blast. I went there as Domino, and so that was fun. And the first night, it was great. But then the second night, it was the night before the last day of con, uh, Saturday night. And fucking, like, everybody was getting aggressive because there was, like, a left hot tub and then there was a right hot tub. Oh, okay. shit. That's all we need is, that's all we need is the nerd damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. So, like... The first night, everybody was getting hot and heavy, and it was like PG-13, fine, whatever, and everybody was dancing, everybody was drunk, everybody was fun. I don't drink, so I was sober, and it was entertaining to me. The next night, <laughs> oh, people shit. were hostile, right? People, like, somebody decided, thought it was a great idea to bring these, like, blown-up ball, beach balls with, like, glow sticks in it, and my friend Bree, who I was sitting next to, and she's, like, this gorgeous black woman, and she... Uh, she was telling me how she had a weave in her hair that cost, like, more than an arm and a leg of three grand. And she what the fuck? Wait a minute. You're joking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not joking. Yeah. Three fucking grand for that? You can... <laughs> no way. Right. So I'm like, I'm, like, in my head, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not that much, but if you, that's how you treat your hair, then more toward, you know, more towards it. If you added additional shit to your hair, you do what you got. You must have been sucking on some of those damn helium balloons there or something for that much. Holy shit. That's the whole con and some more. <laughs> fuck right right that's what i'm saying but like she had a lot of hair and it was like up and it looked really nice like it was like on point beautiful hair but she had to like wrap it up mm -hmm. because of the chlorine and everything and she's just like if this gets damaged like i'm gonna be so pissed because like sh people with the balls kept spiking her in the face like oh shit one point where a guy was like staring her down and then just like fucking spiked a ball in her face and i'm just like are you fucking kidding wow me? see wow so you probably got some people like let me tell like when i went to con like the two years i went like i could feel that there were a lot of people who were fucking mentally off or they're just standoffish or they naturally just don't like certain kinds of people you know and naturally yeah i can understand there are some people who are naturally there's some there's motherfuckers in every scene like really no matter what it is yeah. Mm-hmm.
it just like the one thing that like was offsetting was the fact that um so this is what happened, right? So I started catching all the balls and putting it in the bush, and everyone was like, dude, what the fuck? And I'm just like, hey, listen, this is meant for fun, not attacking my friend in the face. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, some asshole spike keeps spiking a ball at her head. Like, that's not okay. We're here to have fun, not to be mean and, like, whatever, discriminatory. Like, dude, that's not cool. And they're like, oh, shit, we're sorry. We didn't know that was happening. And I'm like, in the back of my head, I'm like, fucking bullshit. So, mm -hmm. freaking, and then... After that shit calmed down, the lady who owned it took them away because she saw that, you know, people were getting a bit mean with them. And so, you know, it, you know, hot air blew over at us and we started having our fun, started having our conversations, shit like that. And then it started to get really hot and heavy in the, in the tub. So I leave it to my brain. I'm like, how come everybody up in here is making out with everybody but us? Like, we are the uh, you're like, am I not fucking, like, something's wrong. Am I not fucking hot enough or what? What, what is... Do I have like an anti fucking U U F repellent on me or some shit? Why am I not getting any any fucking schnoo schnoo? <laughs> like it's funny too because like fucking what was it? Um, all right, I am Mr. Volume. You are going to go down so I can listen to my friend. Thank you. Okay. There you go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this whiskey down because I'm not gonna be able to hear you if I keep drinking it. Go ahead. <laughs> So fucking basically Bree leans over to me and she's just like, we are the most hottest beast up in this town. And everybody macking on ugly ass bitches like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, killing me here. Yeah. We noticed that people were like actually having sex in the hot tub. So we up and oh, no shit. there and we moved over to the other. They hot started tub. making soup. Oh, sh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. This is, yeah, this is how you like get pregnant. Like I'm not about. I'm not about that life. Like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Damn. Um, <laughs> right. And so, anyway, uh, basically what, hap what ended up happening is we went over to the other hot tub on the right side, and we sat down next to these uh, this couple who, they were just adorable, by the way. They were just so nice. Mm -hmm. Um we decided to just like kind of like hang peruse with them we we're chatting up a storm like you know like to everybody to each their own you know like you do you we do us and we'll, we'll move on like no worries don't even worry about it and you know so like we're just here for progressive lo and behold all right you know like some cosplayers who know that they're hot so they play off like oh i know a lot of them a lot of them are vain as fuck too but yeah i know some people i know a few one who come in there they know like they turn heads like they know like i don't yeah. stink yeah i know these, yeah so these two really perky women come in and they're just like not a mark on them <laughs> mm -hmm. right they're like trying to pretend like they're this innocent and mind you there are these like guys that instantly surround them these two girls they're that's so common yep already around them yeah, mm -hmm. and they're just like, oh my god! They're just like speaking really, really high in this like horrible pitch tone, like, oh my god! You're gonna get a fucking, you better have some Motrin. <laughs> right, so I lean over to my girl Bree, and I'm just like, bitch, we know that ain't your voice! <laughs> <laughs> like, you know damn well. Exactly. You know, like, yeah, you know damn well that ain't your voice. They try to ad oh, adopt that hentai chibi, chibiness. Cause they know that's what guys are into or people or most anime fans let our guys got fucking fetishes for that for damn sure yeah oh my god i know right so that's all that we just can't, and so then it's just like you know what whatever whatever to each their own it is their privilege you know whatever it's like that's that that's what they want to do they can do that it's their life their territory whatever it's their prerogative <laughs> so we're here to have fun we're not here to you know whatever we're here for us yeah and freaking um so anyway, so that was going on, and we're having our conversations. We're we're talking with a couple, and we're la making some jokes, making some laughs, memorabilia bullshit as to why we're here at con. natural con stuff, stuff, yeah. Right, right, natural con stuff, you know. And all of a sudden, we hear like this commotion. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Now at the other hot tub, there's like this like miniature waterfall that kind of like is there. Uh -huh. so we see the two guys going underneath the waterfall doing that bay watch, like I'm going to wash myself kind of shit. And come up like a male mermaid and glisten and have all the girls come in. Yeah. 
Yeah, so they're just standing there, you know, like, as if they're taking a shower, like, and I'm like, alright, I see what you're doing, okay, that's hot, alright, cool, cool, cool. And then, all of a sudden, the guys leave, like, alright, you, you know, like, and the girl's like, okay, yeah! Now, <laughs> no shit. as I've mentioned, I dressed up as Domino, and my girl Brie has a weave in her hair, which is gonna cost her a lot of money to, you know, try to fix if chlorine gets in her hair, because that shit will damage it. Of course. Pretty good. Yeah. So... This is what follows suit. These two girls wash themselves like they're in a shower, but then they go under the water. Oh! Back up, they whip their hair. Now, I don't know if you know, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, that fucking concealer and powder came off their face. Right, so basically <laughs> what had happened was this bitch whips her hair at us and I guess she doesn't realize that she was whipping her hair at us, but Brie fucking gets up and goes, hell no. Because oh, shit. What was, when you whip your hair, when you resubmerge from the water, water is soon to follow, so that shit hit my makeup, which took Oh, her back, no. <laughs> which also took her a lot of money and time to put up and do. So... She gets up, she's like, oh, hell no, you did not fucking do that. And they're just standing there like, I don't understand what's going on. Nah. And I go, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, we, at that point, we were salty and we were bitchy. Like, I am not for that whatso fucking ever. Right. And freaking, um, so, like, what happened after that is I calm her down and I'm just like, whatever. Like, this, this is starting to get on my nerves. And... I, I'm just like so pissed off and so of course. I'm like whatever we're gonna come down you know we're just here to have fun we're not here to make enemies it's it's whatever but then they kept on like giving us glares and like you know trying to act like they're all hot and whatever and so then I turned they probably feel like, a little like, heated that you guys people. go oh sorry go ahead go ahead yeah and, and the best part is like couple is on our side and they're just like so we're like teaming up right and freaking after like the bitch glares and everything and like this backhanded comment that's like aimed towards us that we can fucking hear i look over to the couple and i look over to brie and i'm just like like bitch have you ever heard of the salem witch trials uh oh bring that shit here <laughs> i'm about to burn you at the fucking <laughs> stake <laughs> bitch floats <laughs> like that's what i said i said i've heard of witch drowning but can a bitch float can a bitch float all right <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm about to fucking hold your head. I was, like, dying of laughter after I said that. Like, I was just so pissed. Eventually, like, the cops came up to, like, like, all right, party's over. Gotta, uh, turn it down. You know, it's it's that time. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Go on, go. Oh, so, damn, this was, like, really, really, really late. Like, yeah, you said you did say midnight, okay, bath. yeah. On. Yeah, it lasts forever. And freaking, um, so, anyway, basically... So that happened, and basically mm -hmm. after that, uh, what was it? So then I, after he came, I just quickly walked past them. Like, I just, I could not even stand there, and I was going to grab my shit because I just didn't want any trouble. But then the girl of the couple, she quickly hurries up to me. She's like, hey, 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 you won't believe what I did. I totally, I've got your back, girl. And I'm just like, oh, 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 but I got your back way back. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just like, what What happened? She goes, like, as I was exiting, I shoved her down, and I am just like, and I just like, quick, like, shoved her out of the way. You know, like, when you pass somebody that you aggressively hate, you kind of like, nudge them. You kind of nudge them, you kind of do your shoulder thing. Yeah, you kind of move them out the way, yeah, and. That's what she fucking did for me. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of nudged her. Friends on Facebook. <laughs> no shit. Yep. Yeah, she added me on Facebook after that incident. I'm just like, oh my God, bless. <laughs> really? Oh God. See, because I know when I went to con, like I know there were a lot of people who are just naturally, there were, like I met a lot of cool people. Like I met you and I met maybe four other people that I kept from that year back. Some people got rid of me. Some people I didn't bother. But there were a lot of people who were snobby or they just... They felt that they just were the best thing on the planet because they were somebody else's character or some shit like that. And naturally, I'm not... No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like... Go on, go on. And it's like, I know there were a lot of people, they just thought they were the absolute shit. 
And I had a lot of people come up to me like, you are so amazing. You look amazing. You look fabulous. You look this and that. I said, you look great. But then there were some people who act like they don't even know you because the next year I came, there were two people that I saw last year and we have been following each other on Facebook. And it's funny because they pretend like they don't even know you the next year. I'm like, you know who I am. I mean, we've been following each other, yeah. each other how long? I'm just like, oh, wow, man. And it's just like, okay, maybe the whole cosplay scene isn't as great as I thought it was. Like, really? Yeah, no. Like, the thing is, like, years ago when I first started uh, getting into the cosplay community, um, everybody was so much more welcoming. They didn't care about your skin tone. They didn't care about your size. They didn't care who you were, what you looked like, it was just they respected the fact that you were trying your best to cosplay a character that you wanted to cosplay, and that was the extent of it. Yeah. But then, over the years, it got to, like, this elitism, where it's like, oh, you bought that? I made mine. Or, oh, you made Oh, that, that is the most... An Yuffie, that is the you most know, annoying dude, shit. What the shit? Yuffie, that is the most annoying right. shit in the fucking world. Like, I used to... Back when I was in Cleveland, well, I'm up in Michigan now, back when I was in Cleveland, Ohio, I used to try and, you know, get involved with the groups online to see what it was like. And it was just like these people, they was like, they were constantly competing with each other. Like, well, I made mine with so and so and so and so. So that's more dedication and work. And it's just like, what kind of validation are you trying to fucking seek? You, It's all about, com like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, it's just like when it comes to cosplay, it shouldn't matter the size of your weight. It shouldn't matter what color you are. You're cosplaying because it's something that you enjoy doing, and that's that's that, you know? Yes. And the thing is, I've been trying, and every year, every time I go to a con, I try to get a panel that kind of like covers the spaces to end the bullying. It's just like we go to these conventions to avoid reality, to avoid the idea of, like, the outside shouldn't fucking exist in here. It's all about your fantasy yeah. world, man. Yeah, like, this is here where you're supposed to be able to make friends. You're supposed to feel comfortable because in the reality world that you live in, like, you get made fun of for doing this stuff. You and know? it fucking you sucks, yes. It. And it, yeah, and it fucking sucks. So we come here to escape that reality to, like, hopefully, you know, that will be more accepted and everything. Not be berated and hated for. Like, that's something that I that I would try to avoid. It's just not something that I'm for. And you feel, let me tell you, and that, com that comes in every community, which is sad. You know, I've been in the cosmic, cosplay community, whether it's the cosplay, whether it's the, the gothic scene, whether it's the LGBT, there is a lot of amazing people you meet in these, but there always comes people who bring about its destruction or, or, or cause a, a significant amount of pain to it. You know, that shit follows as long as they're humans, yeah. you know, and you just got to, weed that out like <laughs> really but it's hard because there's so many people that attend you can never tell who the fuck is a troublemaker and who's not right it really is because just like i now it's just like whenever i go to con it's just like i feel bad that i'm even you know going to a convention like should i be going and like half the friends that i used to you know hang with and be around with is just like like, should I stay with them? Should I not stay with them? Like, I don't even know anymore. And it's just like, it's such, it's so disheartening to, you know, to see that people change over the years. Like, I used to hang out with this one guy, um, his name is Damien O'Connor, and he, he was like my first, you know, con friend ever to have made from like 2008, right? And okay. Ever And like when we first hung out, it would be like every week. He would come over, kidnap me for the week, and we'd go over to his place at Saginaw. So it'd be me, him, his roommate, Reno, Stan, and his sister. Um, right. And it would just be us guys. Yeah. Would, like, hang out and everything. And it was just like, and that's what Con meant to me. It was hanging out with awesome people like them. And when I came to realize that, you know, over the years, it was just like, oh my god, this is awesome. So every year I went, I would make new friends, and it was easy, it was loving. But then over the years, it's just like they started fat shaming and like race shaming and everything. Like, there's one person, this was like this white girl who was cosplaying as a black guy, but didn't pull blackface whatsoever. Right. Not whatsoever. But like, the fact is, just like, the community is just like, how dare you cosplay a character that's meant for us? It's just like, she's like, I'm sorry, I just, I really love the character. I fell in love with the character, and I just wanted to dress up as a character it's fucking poison it's always poison in the I'm community just like thinking you know this is not okay 
Like, it, this should not be okay to, you know, do to people, you know? Well, we're supposed to be here as a community to be welcoming and supportive of each other for our hard times that we always, you know, end up suffering for. And then when we try to stand up for somebody, we get yelled at. And, it, like, I'm not here to be berated. I'm here to have my fun, not to make enemies. And right. And it's just, like, it's so hard because you know, dress up cosplay then reveal and uh oh um, you're breaking up a little bit you are now considered a <laughs> slut or something or like it's just like dude what the wait a minute wait a minute people know it somebody 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 called you that when you were well no i'm just saying in general oh okay like, yeah, i've been called slut many times like through the cosplay community like in like while i'm at con like people i've over here like oh my god look at that slut like whatever well chris hey hey well yuffie, yuffie's got some big ass tits so now <laughs> naturally you can't be <laughs> i'm messing but i'm just easy go ahead I'm but sorry. like I'm... the thing is though the thing is though like all right so freaking um what is it like there's this one cosplay i did uh blue lynette right where she has like the open vest and obviously me being well endowed Mm -hmm. You know, there's bound to be malfunctions. Well, I never, not once had a malfunction with that costume because I used liquid latex Yeah. instead, which, let me tell you, is not fun at all. No, you better make sure you know what you're doing before you use that. Yeah, no, I, I, I know how to use liquid latex. I've used it before when I worked at a haunted house, but my mistake that I made was instead of putting, like, cotton over my nips to protect them or some form of protection, I just, like, yeah, I'll be fine. It was not fine. It was not fine at all. It hurt. It ripped some skin. It was bad. It was a bad day. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Damn. Wait, what What year was this? Because I've never seen you do this. This, all right, when I was in Lillinette, my first year doing Lillinette, I had a bandage wrap uh, for, I think it was like 2011 when I went to uh, Colossal Con. Or it was either 2011 or 2010. It had to be, 20, yeah, because 2011 when we met there, you were still doing Yuffie. Oh yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I I alternated between cosplays. Um, mm -hmm. But it was around 2010 when they moved Yomacon from the Hyatt in Dearborn to Detroit um, at the GM Center, which I which I always have been going to since. And that first year, I did Lilinette, um, which was very unpleasant. Comics that I would get from a, a, an array of people. Oh wait, and you get motherfuckers, was, like, yeah. Yeah, you'd get people who are like, let me take a photo. I'm like, okay, but my face is up here, though. So, uh... <laughs> you a short little something, Yuffie, so naturally, they would be like, <laughs> for the right, tall ones, right, yeah. Right. And, and um, the worst part about it was, um, everybody, I would always get comments like, how do you keep that on? How do you keep that, how do you get that to stay on your boobs? And I'm just like, um... And so, like, you know, it was just... Like, you had to explain, like, uh, well, you take yeah. this shit and hope it sticks and, <laughs> you know, touch it. Yeah, you take this, hope it sticks, and then you reinforce it with tape, which, you know, you're just going to have a bad time. Um, and make sure you shave yeah. or something because peeling this shit off is not pleasant if you don't. Oh, yeah, like, even if you have, like, freaking peach fuzz as for fur or whatever, mm -hmm. peach fuzz is not fun. No. Not fun at all. I, I'm no right with you. <laughs> Right, with right. You. Like, it's it's bad. And so anyway, so like throughout the thing, and um, I'd hear people like, oh, she's just w wearing that way of Lilinette to get attention. Like, there are better ways to do this or whatever. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? Like, I'm sorry, but like, I had to improvise because half of Lilinette costume got destroyed it, with bleach because you know mistakes happen. Um, and so I had to like go to the Halloween store and like purchase like bloomer whatever look to like. You... shorts and i just use tape to get the black outlines because you know i'm broke and i'm cheap <laughs> right. yuffie and, everybody uh... then worn every every girl okay or just from my experience there any girl who dresses as, as an extremely hot anime character or goes in a swimsuit or something and shows their fabulousness of course it's for attention yeah. so naturally why do you get off why, why are you getting on one person is it like there's that contest shit all over again Right, and the thing is, like, I'm not doing it, like, I don't dress the way that I do to get attention, though. Like, I'm not here to be like, look at my tits, look at my ass, I'm here to be like... Right, I go to the fucking strip club if I wanted, right. I want, I'd go to the fucking strip club if I wanted to do that. Yeah, if, if I want fucking unwanted attention, I would go to a strip club, thank you. <laughs> right, so what the fuck? That's so stupid. Like, for real, genuinely fucking stupid. 
Yeah, very genuinely stupid. And it's just like, it's just, I'm so tired of that crap. Because, like, it's not wanted, it's not warranted whatsoever. And, but it's treated as such. And it's, it's so disheartening. And it's gotten to the, it's, it's like, I'm sorry, I don't know if you've been to cons recently, but it's getting so bad to the part that I'm disheartened to thinking, like, maybe I should just, like, call it quits because I don't even know if I want to go. Right, Yuffie. With the whole Colossal Con scenario, and it's just, like, I haven't cosplayed Yuffie in several years. I, like, had a boycott Yuffie because I no longer fit next You week. always Yuffie, you, you always Yuffie to me because you had the charisma right. You had all that shit right. You were so nice to us because a lot of people wasn't. Aww. A lot of people, yeah. you know, but you add the charisma for the character, so you always win UV. But go ahead. <laughs> and like I said, my last con, yeah. my last, my last con was like I, said, I went 2011 and 2012. I never went again, and I just right. know the people I encounter. I didn't see you 2012 though. Yeah, that, that I didn't go to 2012. Right. There's I've missed several years of Colossal Con. Mm -hmm. uh, I think about like three years of class, either three or four years I've missed uh, Classicon. The recent times that I went was last year and this year. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go next year, 2019, just because of um, the situation I'm in, especially with the room situation, because it's just, it's miserable if you don't stay at the Kalahari, but at the same time, it's just like, I even if I don't stay at the Kalahari, if I can't get a room to be able to go, I'm not going to go. And I don't want to put myself in a situation like I did last year where I only knew one person, stayed in a room with them, and it was at the, um, it was at the, what was it? Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Last year I didn't know anybody. And I was staying in a room with a bunch of strangers, and I got fucked over royally with that whole room situation. Nearly got uh, raped. That was fun. No um, shit. Yeah, it was pretty fucked. Um... So that's why I was just like, I don't know if I want to really, if I'm going to go to Classicon, it would be to be with a bunch of people that I know, but mm -hmm. it's, I don't know if they even have rooms because of the whole stupid lotto, lotto situation. Like, I just, like, I'm not. No, I can understand your guard being up after that. Who the fuck, man, let me tell you something. I know, like, I know there are a lot of fucking creeps who attend the event. You know, I've, I've, I've seen them. You know, I've seen them follow the girls around. I've seen them stalking them and everything. And I'm just like, because me and my cousin at the time, my god brother, who I've been trying to get in the fucking chat, but I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if you remember, but we used to walk around and we're like, man, they're following her, aren't they? <laughs> like, we used to be, we used to just observe, like, man, they are really on a mission. Like, is that... Like yeah. we used, we used to take bids. Like, is that our brother or Fred? No, no, that dude's he's stalking. I'm like, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> like we used to do that shit. That's oh my god. Right. It's just like, and it's just like I don't know. And then like the only con that I'm ever gonna go to is probably Yomacon. That's the only con that I know I can afford to go to. Is that that's here in Michigan, isn't it? Yeah, where do you live at? I live in Michigan too. No, I I've, I've been up in Michigan since 2014. That's why I was just like, "Oh, you feel you up here too." No. Right. I've been in Ohio my whole life. I got up here in 2014. I live in uh Macomb. You bitch, you live close to me. I'm in <laughs>